Good morning, Year 6. Your math lesson today is all about solving problems involving reading and plotting coordinates, translation and reflection. So it's consolidating all of our learning from this week. So our first slide is recapping reading and plotting coordinates. So on the screen, you should see a four quadrant grid. So it's asking you to write the coordinates for point A. So you can see from the grid that point A is in our first quadrant. So we have to remember that when we read and write coordinates, we always read or plot the X coordinate before the Y. So if we're looking at point A, we can see that we go across to three on our X axis before going up to two on our Y axis. So the coordinates for point A are three, two. If we now move to look at point C, we can see that point C is in our third quadrant. So again, we're still looking at our X coordinate first. So we're going across to minus three and then down to minus two. So our coordinates for point C is minus three, minus two. And our final coordinate point that we are looking at is G. G is in our second quadrant on our grid. So again, reading the X coordinate first, we're going across to minus four and we're going up this time to four. So our coordinates for point G are minus four, four. We can now use our same four quadrant grid to move on to looking at translation. So the question is asking you to describe the translation from point A to point D. So we can see that point A is in our first quadrant and point D is in our fourth quadrant. So when translating shapes, it's always important you never count the line the point is on. So if we're going from point A, we can see that we are going down one, two, three, four. So to describe the translation, it would be down four. We are now describing the translation from point B to F. So B is in our second quadrant and this time we're going to have to do two steps to our translation. So first, I'm going to go right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. And then we're going up now to point F and up one, two. So the translation would be seven right, two up. Question number three says these coordinates form a quadrilateral and then we are given four sets of coordinates. It is translated three right and four down. The question is asking you to draw the quadrilateral on the grid in its new position. So first you need to plot the points on your grid. So take each point one at a time. If it helps, you can cross off or tick the coordinates that you've plotted so you don't confuse yourself. Second, join your points with a ruler to create a shape. Once you've done this, you then need to translate the shape taking each vertex, which is the mathematical word for corner, one at a time, and move them three right and four down. And finally, join your points with a ruler. And you have translated your shape. OK, and our final question today is a reflection question. So this is what we were looking at in our math lesson yesterday. So the question is asking us to reflect the triangle in the Y axis. So this is our Y axis. And for this question, our Y axis becomes our mirror line. So when we are reflecting shapes in our mirror line, we always look at how far away from the mirror line each vertex of the shape is. So the first thing I would do is put a small circle on each vertex of the shape. Then we're going to start with this vertex here in the bottom left hand corner. So we can see that it's clearly two away from the mirror line. So it has to then be two away from the mirror line on the other side of the Y axis. And then you can repeat it for each point. So here we can see that this point here is one, two, three, four, five away from the mirror line as it's five on our X axis. So it has to be five away from the mirror line on the other side. And our final vertex is four away from the mirror line on this side, so it has to be four away from the mirror line on this side. Once you've plotted all your points, you then join them together with a ruler to create your final shape. 